Today we're talking about different diets and their impact on kidney disease and which diet is the most beneficial. Now this is according to some research that came out from the American Journal of Kidney Diseases, March 2023. It's ahead of print, so they released this before they're going to print the whole journal and release that whole journal out to the public. The title of this is Risk and Benefits of Different Dietary Patterns in CKD. So if you want to read about all the little details of this study, you just need to type in to your search engine, American Journal of Kidney Diseases, Risk and Benefits of Dietary Patterns in CKD, March 2023. Okay, that's what we're discussing. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. If you've been here before, welcome back. Great to see you. Got a good video today. So, in this journal, what they did was they looked at a lot of different dietary patterns that are popular, common in kidney disease, looked at the research, and they broke it down. At the end, they kind of give a, um, like a summary, a highlight of each one, which I'm going to get into. So, before we get into this first, so I want to mention a few things. No matter what diet you pick, you should always be low sodium. You should keep your salt as low as possible. Now, if you're obese or morbidly obese, what the research has shown is that if you lose a significant amount of weight, no matter what type of diet you use, it generally improves kidney function, almost always improves kidney function. So those are the two things I want you to keep in mind before I get into this. So the first diet they looked at are low carbohydrate diets, diets that keep the carbohydrates really low. Regardless of whatever plan you're following, they talked about the popular keto diet or ketogenic diet and its impact on kidney disease. So they give the um, benefits and they give the risks. So here's the benefits of low carbohydrates, including the keto diet. Avoiding the high index glycemic foods, uh, improve weight loss and glycemic uh, control. So that's blood sugar control for people who are really adherent to the diet. Okay, negatives, high protein content may cause hyperfiltration and CKD. So when you lower the carbs, you tend to increase the protein, which is bad for the kidneys. You can be stressing your kidneys out, making them worse. Uh, inclusion of saturated or trans fats, which raise your risk of cardiovascular disease. Uh, Long-term adherence is difficult. Most people don't stay on it. They usually don't see the benefits of the diet after 12 months. So if people do lose weight, they tend to gain it back. It's a little, it's a hard diet to follow some of these low carb ones, especially the ketogenic diet. So a little tougher in the long term. Um, replacing carbohydrates with animal protein may increase acid load. So that's something else they mentioned. So overall, low carbohydrate diets are generally not recommended for kidney disease. If you structure it right for a diabetic, use more vegetarian proteins and could be an option. Okay, second type of approach they got into was intermittent fasting. Very popular, okay, very popular. A lot of big claims behind it, which I haven't seen any substantiated in the research. So, things that they mentioned improve weight loss and glycemic control. So, anytime you restrict calories, you're going to lose weight, you get better blood sugar control. So, that's a benefit. Negatives, electrolyte imbalance is possible. Um, decrease in kidney function from dehydration, medications. Uh, make sure you drink a lot of water on these diets, okay? So that's one thing you can always do is drink water. Overall, intermittent fasting hasn't shown any kidney benefits like regeneration or recovery or anything along those lines. And what they reference here is Ramadan, okay? The, um, where you fast for a month in the Muslim religion, okay, very popular. We have so many studies on this, so we would know if fasting was beneficial at this point. Doesn't look like it is. Maybe some more research in the future, but with all that we have, which is a lot, doesn't seem like you know the best way to go. But if you're looking, like I said, losing weight, it could be a strategy for that. So the next uh, category that to get into here are plant-based diets. So. They talk about plant-based diets, and here's what they highlight. Multiple benefits for chronic diseases, high alkaline load, which is great for the kidney, high in fiber and antioxidants, possible reduction, reduction in EGFR decline, and protein urea. So plant-based diets are, from here, the top diet if you want to help improve your kidney health, if you want to try uh, to really do something. Now, they lump in a couple different diets here with plant-based. They talk about the Mediterranean diet, the DASH diet, as being in the plant-based category. So anything where you limit animal proteins are considered plant-based. You should try to ideally not have any animal proteins, but you can have small amounts with these diets as long as the majority of your diet is plant-based. Some negatives are people are unfamiliar with these diets. Most people, even providers, um, healthcare providers don't know the benefits or, or the type of diet or what you should do or, or how it works with kidney disease. Hyperkalemia may be an issue, uh, but they also mentioned that since um, 
when you have the plant-based, you're, you're having more alkaline foods, so you don't really get the potassium or hyperkalemia, high potassium issues you would, but that's something to be aware of. And protein deficiency. Sometimes that happens because you restrict protein so much. Um, so that's really the best diet that could be structured a variety of ways depending on your situation. We have lots of videos that talk about this. Maybe you, know, you can always look for professional advice, nutritionists, dietitians that are versed in this. What they do mention at the beginning is that um, you should stick to those, ideally those um, 2020 Kadoki recommendations. These are uh, completely industry-wide recommendations of lowering protein in the diet of people with kidney disease to delay uh, the loss of your EGFR and, and possibly improve your situation, which a lot of people can improve their situation. One other diet they cover is the Western diet, standard American diet, your sugary beverages, your fried foods. This diet just makes every disease worse, puts you at risk for every disease, and it kills your kidney faster. So you shouldn't be on that diet anything better than the standard American diet. So thanks for watching. We covered quite a bit here. You can read that article for yourself if you like, and check out our other videos about how to improve and how to maintain and do good things for your kidney, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.